This is From the South, Telesur's daily news show. My name is Reagan DeVeans. We begin in Colombia, where two of the country's poorest regions are continuing a civil strike to demand a better deal from the government. The stoppage in the Pacific port city of Buenaventura is now into its second week. Residents in the mainly Afro-Colombian and indigenous area march to demand a state of economic emergency be declared. The region has been badly affected by Colombia's armed conflict. This city has the most important port on the Pacific coast and we don't have a proper hospital. We have the biggest water reserves and we are going thirsty. 38% are unemployed and 92% of those who do go to work are in the informal sector. That's why I've joined this protest. The government has completely forgotten Buenaventura. In a tense standoff with police, protesters insisted they were not armed and called on the officers not to attack their own kind. But the riot police seemed to not take notice. The head of the committee set up to prepare a new constituent assembly in Venezuela says the first phase of its work is now complete. We have consulted all sectors. Our task is to eradicate from this country the germ of racial and class hatred, which has been cultivated among a minority of Venezuelans, but a minority which has shown how it can cause physical harm and death, but also spiritual harm, to our most treasured values of solidarity and respect. After video emerged of some opposition protesters in Venezuela setting fire to a young black man, there have been reports of other attacks on passers-by and street vendors suspected of being Chavez supporters. President Nicolas Maduro condemned what he called hate crimes. We condemn all violence, intolerance and persecution for ideological, racial, political, religious or cultural motives. The crimes committed by these fascists are hate crimes. These are serious crimes against humanity. This is one of the worst things the opposition and its leaders, like Julio Borges, have done. Pressure is mounting in Brazil for the president to step down and for new elections to be held. As he returned to work on Monday, Michel Temer again promised he would not resign following the release of audio recordings that appear to show him approving riots. Protesters took to the streets and cities across Brazil on Sunday to demand direct elections. They are opposed to any move that would allow the Congress to elect a new president. Temer's government is over. It's involved in corruption and lacks legitimacy, as the coup has shown. It's time for him to step down as the population mobilizes in the whole country to demand direct elections. Temer must leave, and new faces must arrive. All those who have been implicated in the scandal must leave. A crowd of angry Mexicans attacked a Russian man with sticks and rocks in the Caribbean resort of Cancun over his repeated insults against locals. The 42-year-old man was accused of fatally stabbing a youth in the melee. The gap has closed between the Conservatives and Labour as the British election campaign goes into its final weeks. Early polls had the Conservatives with almost double the share of votes of the Labour Party. But after the Tories' manifesto was revealed containing controversial plans on social care, the latest polls show that Labour is currently only nine points behind. Now over to the United States, where a group of students at Indiana's Notre Dame University walked out of their graduation in protest at the presence of Vice President Mike Pence. According to organizers, as many as 100 people left. Spanish League champions Real Madrid visited local and regional authorities earlier this Monday where they were congratulated for obtaining their first La Liga title in five years. The club also scored its 33rd overall title. Hundreds of fans gathered outside Madrid's City Hall to catch a glimpse of their new champions. More on these and other stories on our website, telesurtv.net slash English. For Telesur English, I'm Regan Levines.